Today, we have a very special treat from Caitlin Parsons, who was the guest this week on the podcast. You can listen to her full episode at CandiceWu.com slash Caitlin, which is spelled C-A-I-T-L-I-N. Caitlin is offering Yoga Nidra, which is yogic sleep. So get comfy, jump in, take some time for yourself, and get some very deep rest, relaxation, as well as plant some new seeds for yourself. Enjoy. Hello and welcome. My name is Caitlin and I will be guiding you on a journey called Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra is a style, a form of meditation where you systematically begin to relax the body and the other subtle layers of the body. And we find ourselves at the end, at the sweet space we call the bliss body where we're able to uncover our visions, our dreams, our creativity, our truth. So I invite you to make yourself really comfortable for this meditation. A blanket over you or underneath the back of your head. Maybe a bolster or a pillow underneath the knee. And if it's daylight, or you'd prefer maybe even an eye pillow or something to cover the eyes gently. And take your time as you make your way into a comfortable space. And the idea of meditations like this or opportunities like this is to go within, to get more curious about what happens behind the thoughts, the ego, the feeling, what resides beneath all of that. And when we can get more clear about how to tune into this deeper part of ourselves and how to connect with this deep part of ourselves regularly, we become and feel more supported in this world, in our journey. We can become more connected to the truth that's inside of us. And all the other stuff slowly starts to fade away. So as you finally get settled in, allow your eyes to close if they haven't already, and maybe invite your arms out to the sides so the palms face up. In each yoga nidra practice, we start by drawing in an intention. And first, connect to our breath. Begin to notice the breath as it comes into your body, either through the nostrils or gently parted lips, and begin to notice the breath as it leaves the body. And just simple awareness of the breath as you take a full breath in. An awareness of the breath as the breath leaves the body. Beginning to notice how the breath feels in this moment without needing to change anything at all. Without judging the way you want it to be or wish it to be. Enjoying the simplicity of the breath in this moment. And does it feel fast or challenging or stuck? Or perhaps it feels more open and fluid and easeful. Wherever it is, just acknowledging where you're at. Opportunity to become so present that it doesn't matter what the answer is. Presence is what's most important. Then begin to just slowly, breath by breath, draw in a deeper breath. So as you inhale, begin to fill the belly, the side ribs, chest. And as you exhale, let the chest soften, the ribs soften as the belly draws back towards the spine. And several more times like this, inhale, getting longer, more full. 
and exhale, turning it around. And as you release the breath, let it be longer, let it be slower than the last breath. A few more times like this. Inhale, long, slow, full. Exhale, longer, slower, deeper. With each inhale, having this idea, this sense of creating more space, more expansion, more width in our body. And as you exhale, this opportunity to surrender, to soften the physical body down. And then slowly begin to exhale fully when you're ready. And then we'll add a breath count. So on the inhale, we'll inhale for a count of five, four, three. Two, one, pause at the top of your inhale, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause, two, one, a few more times like this, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, Two, one, pause, two, one, twice more like this. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause, two, one, one more time. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Normal breath in and out now. And notice if the breath has shifted at all, if you feel more space, more softness, or what you notice in general. We'll slowly begin to draw the awareness to an intention. And in the Yoga Nidra practice, we typically set an intention that's a positive statement, that's an I am positive statement. And this could be anything that's coming up for you, or maybe you've been working through. It could be I am confident, I am strong, I am connected, I am open and ready to receive. If you're struggling to find one, perhaps connect with something you've been challenged by or with and turn that into a positive statement. For example, if you're struggling with being and feeling worthy, perhaps the positive intentional statement becomes, I am worthy or I am enough. And once you find that statement, say it to yourself three times. Say it to yourself as if it were true, not in the future. I am. Feel it with every cell in your body again as if it were to be true. And then with your next inhale, begin to fill all the way up as you inhale. And then as you exhale, open the mouth, sigh the breath out, let it go. Two more times like this. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Turn that back around, open the mouth, send the breath out the mouth. Last one, inhale, filling up. And exhale, open the mouth, let it go. Beautiful. Bring the lips together now. Breathing in and out through the nose or gently parted lips. And now we'll begin our journey into Yoga Nidra. We'll begin with the physical body and a rotation of consciousness in the body. Bring your awareness to the whole back side of your body. 
Imagine and sense the whole backside of your body as if the body could be front cut in half, front to back. Feel the back side of your body and let the whole back body soften into the support beneath you. Bring your awareness to the front body and imagine with each inhale feeling more space, more ease, more softness as you breathe in. And with each exhale, the sense of surrender in the back body. Inhale, front body. Exhale, back body. And then slowly begin to shift your awareness to the whole right side of your body. Feel and sense the whole right side of your body. Bring your awareness to your right hand. And as I name different body parts, I invite you to guide your awareness there and let that area soften. If it feels like your mind needs something else to do, you can name that spot as well to yourself, but only if you need. Awareness to your right hand, thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and fifth finger, top of your hand, palm of your hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right ribs, waist, right hip. Feel and sense all the way from the hip to the toe. And then guide your awareness to your thigh, knee, shin, the ankle, your whole foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Guide the awareness to your whole right side body and feel the whole right side body filled with awareness, sensation. And then guide your awareness slowly to the whole left side of your body. Begin to feel and sense the whole left side body. Whole left side. Awareness to your left hand. Thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and fifth finger. The back of your hand, palm of your hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, the left rib. Waist, your left hip. Feel and sense your left hip all the way to the left toes. And then awareness back to the left thigh, knee, chin, ankle, and your whole left foot, and big toe, second toe. Third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Feel the whole left side body filled with awareness and sensation. And begin to feel the whole body together now, the whole body together. Imagine the whole body breathing as one here. Feel the whole body as one. Feel the back of your right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, right thigh, left thigh, center of your hip and pelvis. 
and then begin to imagine walking your awareness up the entire spine, noting each and every vertebrae along the spine, each and every bone, getting to the upper back, and then awareness to the right shoulder blade. Imagine the whole right shoulder blade as if you could unravel the tension from the inside out. The whole left shoulder blade, back of the head, awareness to the top of your head, forehead, right temple, left temple, the bridge of your nose, the tip of your nose, your right cheek. Your left cheek, upper jaw, your lower jaw, the tongue inside your mouth, right ear, and imagine from the right ear drawing a line down the side of your jaw to the center of your chin, and then feel the center part of your chin. And then imagine a line from the center part of your chin all the way up the left side of the jaw to your left ear. Bring the awareness to your left ear. And bring the awareness to your right eye again. Your left eye. And imagine the space between both of your eyes. Bring your awareness to this space. Our third eye center. Our center for intuition and connection. Imagine a yellow glowing light here. Yellow glowing light at the center of our eyes, our third eye center. Glowing with each inhale more radiant than ever. And then imagine from the center of your eyes to the space of your heart, imagine this glowing light shines from the third eye center to your heart on an inhale. And as you exhale, imagine the glowing light moving back to the third eye center. Continuing like this, inhale. From the third eye to your heart space. Exhale, heart, the third eye. And then the next time you inhale and bring the awareness to your space around your heart, keep the awareness there as you exhale. Imagine this glowing, beautiful light radiating around the heart. Glowing inside the chest, your radiance, your glow, so bright and beautiful. And then keeping the awareness at the heart, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, imagine the whole bright light and the exhale reaches every single part of your body. And as you inhale, imagine the glowing light comes back to your heart. Several more times like this, inhale at your heart. And exhale, imagine the glowing, healing light going to every area of your body, every cell, every bone, every muscle. And exhale, coming back to the heart. Inhale, sending it out. Exhale, receiving. Notice, is there anywhere in your body as you do this exercise that is challenging to get the breath and the radiance to? And see if for the next few breaths you can really work on bringing it there, bringing more light to this space. Inhale, shining out to the body. Exhale, drawing it into your heart. Mm. 
And then begin to let that go. Come back to the natural rhythm of breath. Remind yourself you are practicing yoga nidra. You are awake. You are relaxed. Normal breath in. Normal breath out. Begin to have this sense of the whole physical body weighing down. The whole physical body getting even heavier than it is now. As if it were weighted down. The whole body heavy. As if you couldn't even lift a limb. You're just so heavy and grounded and rooted here. Heavy. Then invite the opposite feeling. Invite the feeling of lightness. Of lightness and ease. As if you could lift up off of where you're at. And maybe the limbs could float. You feel so light through the whole body. Lightness through the whole body. And then back to heaviness. Feeling heaviness. And then imagine your natural state, your natural rhythm. Homeostasis. And then from here, imagine the warmest day outside, feeling so hot. Like the sun is shining on you and you almost can't de-layer enough, feeling so warm and hot as if you're sitting beneath the shining sun, so hot. And then imagine the opposite. Imagine feeling so cold as if it were a winter's day. The snow is falling. Jackets and bundled up. Imagine not being able to shake the feeling of the chill. So cold. And then let that go. Begin to come back to your natural rhythm of breath. Your natural rhythm. Begin to imagine the feeling that you get in your body. Imagine living your life for someone else. Imagine being and living a life that has nothing to do with you. Living a life for someone else. What does that feel like and where do you feel that in your body? Living for someone else. And then imagine the opposite. Imagine living a life that is just for you. Living a life authentically, exactly how you choose to be living your life. What does that feel like to live through your lens? Where do you feel that in your body? And what does that feel like living for yourself? Then let that go. Find your natural rhythm again. As we move into this next piece, I'll begin to name different things. And I invite you to try staying with me. And imagine at your third eye center, the space between both of your eyes, imagine a big black movie screen as high and wide as you can see. And as I name different things, notice what comes up on the movie screen for you, any feelings, any sensations that you feel. I'll go fairly quickly. A black dog. 
the sun setting down, the sound of waves crashing down on the beach, the smell of incense burning, a cactus, a house at the top of a hilltop, the sound of your best friend's laughter, a burning candle, a beautiful sunrise, A full moon above, a full moon above. Imagine laying beneath a big full moon. You're laying down in the grass beneath a big full moon. And then imagine sitting up just a little bit and noticing a big door the middle of nowhere. You're intrigued by this big door. You slowly begin to walk up towards the door, taking your time, cautious, not sure what's next, anticipation, wondering what's behind the door and what happens when you touch the door. Imagine that just beyond the door is your dream, your vision, exactly where you're meant to be next, your next step. Imagine what's beyond the door is your dream, your next step. What's beyond the door? What's your dream? vision. What's stopping you from grabbing the doorknob, from opening the door and walking through? What's holding you back from your next step, your next piece of evolution? What is holding you hear and stuff. What's keeping you stuck and comfortable where you're at? And then imagine that that didn't matter anymore. And drawing in and remembering, bringing your awareness to your intention for your practice today, your sankalpa. Repeat that to yourself. And perhaps that's what you need to know in order to walk through the door. Imagine grabbing the handle, turning the handle, opening the door and walking through, forward into your dream. How does it feel to be here? Look around you, feeling grateful, ecstatic, excited. What else do you feel? Where do you feel it in your body? Where do you feel it in your body, in your breath? Then allow yourself to rest here and Ask for guidance, receiving any support, any guidance, any wisdom that you need in order to walk through the door in life, in order to get to the next step, in order to get to your next evolution, to continue evolving and growing and learning and rising up. What do you need? Rest here in this stillness, this quiet, this peace for a few minutes.
slowly begin to draw your awareness back to your intention. Bringing your awareness back to your intention for your practice today. Repeat your intention to yourself three times again. And as you repeat it this last time, imagine feeling it as if it were to be true already. Slowly begin. Bring awareness to your breath now, noticing the gentle rise and fall of the belly as you breathe. Notice the simplicity of this moment, this breath, being present here. And then slowly begin to deepen the breath. And as you deepen the breath, allow that to be your sign, your symbol, beginning to awaken your physical body, wiggling the fingers, the toes. And take your time, maybe one big stretch, reaching the arms overhead, the toes in the opposite direction. And as you exhale, begin to draw your knees in towards your chest and rock over to either side. Pausing and softening here. And when you're ready, begin to press yourself up and come to a comfortable seat. Keep the eyes closed or your gaze soft and then bring your hands onto your thigh. Begin to connect, lift your palms so they face up and begin to connect your thumb, the tip of your thumb and your index finger together, letting the other three fingers remain open. Our symbol or mudra for higher wisdom and knowledge. May we remember that by connecting to these deep parts of ourselves, our inner world, inner landscape, we become more connected to what's next for us, the wisdom that there always is, and the wisdom is always inside of us and never beyond. So just by connecting to the breath, the body, we find this space. When you're ready, you can begin to open the eyes. Bring one hand onto your heart, one onto your belly, and just feel the breath moving inside the body. Feel the breath moving the hands as you take a big breath in and out. And as you take the next few breaths, I invite you to take some time, get a pen and paper, maybe a journal if you have one, and start writing. Get more curious about what's next for you, what's holding you back. What are you ready to evolve into? Why are you still playing small? What are you ready for? Thank you all for joining me and sharing this practice with me. My name is Caitlin Parsons again with Healers Within Yoga Therapy. If you ever have any questions, you can surely send me a message. Hello at healerswithin.com or my website is healerswithin.com. Thank you. Namaste.